The Democratic Republic of the Congo, one of the countries with the largest population and highest poverty rate in Africa, has created a vehicle that serves as a true symbol of the challenges faced by its people called Shukudu. Chukudu is a two-wheeled engineless vehicle that is widely used by the population of the Democratic Republic of the Congo. It is made of wood and has a design with an angular frame, a long plank equipped with two small wheels at both ends, and handlebars. All the materials used in its construction are made of wood. The body of the vehicle is made of eucalyptus wood, while the wheels are made of mumba wood coated with rubber from used tires. Typically, Chukudu is equipped with cushions on its planks. Despite its unique appearance, Chukudu is capable of moving quickly even with heavy loads. It is commonly used by traders or small-scale entrepreneurs to transport various types of goods, such as merchandise, construction materials, firewood, or other items. Chukudu moves with momentum. If the Chukudu is empty and on flat ground, the rider will place one knee on the board and push the vehicle with the other foot, similar to riding a skateboard. However, when Chukudu riders descend a slope, they will stand on the board with one foot pressing against the rear wheel to act as a brake, as Chukudu is not equipped with a braking system. Sometimes, the driver also uses their foot as a brake. Chukudu plays a crucial role in the daily lives of the Congolese people, where three out of four individuals live on less than $1.90 per day. Therefore, to save on expenses, the people of Congo have created Chukudu as an extremely economical vehicle that does not require fuel. This vehicle has proven to assist many individuals in overcoming transportation challenges while facilitating trade and the distribution of goods. In addition to being a transportation solution for the impoverished communities, Chukudu is also a vital means of transportation given the limitations of road infrastructure in the country. Many roads in rural areas are poorly maintained, unpaved, or have rugged terrain. As a result, larger motorized vehicles would struggle to pass through. However, Chukudu, with its customized size and strength, can easily navigate through challenging roads including rocky or muddy terrains. In the city of Goma, a young man can earn an income by transporting goods using Chukudu. Despite being made of wood, the structure of this vehicle is sturdy and suitable for the road conditions in Goma. Although Chukudu may resemble a toy bicycle, it actually serves as the backbone of the local transportation system. Chukudu is used to transport various types of cargo, such as firewood, charcoal, cement, agricultural produce, and more. The load carried is balanced on the Chukudu's board. Chukudu comes in various sizes, typically taking one to three days to construct, and can last up to three years. The most common size is around six and a half feet long, capable of carrying a load of about 450 kilograms. Larger size Chukudas can carry loads up to 800 kilograms. The design of the vehicle can also be customized to accommodate different types of cargo. For instance, Chukudas used for transporting firewood may have specially drilled holes in the middle of the seating area, allowing the rider to secure the wood in place with a stick. Others may be fitted with large baskets to carry various types of loads. Although this unique vehicle is made of strong wood and provides significant financial assistance, it cannot be denied that the safety aspect of Chukudu is minimal. The high riding position, slim and long body shape, and wooden wheels wrapped in rubber from used tires are not an ideal combination for use on public roads. 
Recognizing the importance of this vehicle within the community, the United Nations even organized a Chukudu race back in 2006. In 2009, President Joseph Kabila of Congo placed a Chukudu statue in the center of Goma. This golden statue depicts a man pushing a Chukudu with his belongings, symbolizing the hardworking people of Goma. The vehicle first appeared in the 1970s during a crisis under the leadership of Mobutu Sese Siko, a Congolese politician and military officer who served as the president of Zaire from 1965 to 1997. In 2008, Shukudu was sold for $100 with material costs of nearly $60. In 2014, it was priced between $50 and $100 and used for transportation to earn $10 per day. However, despite its affordability, it does not mean that all Congolese people can own this vehicle as the average daily income is below $2 for many individuals. They can acquire this vehicle through installment payments over a period of approximately six months.